GPON versus EPON, Unraveling the Battle of Optical Networking. Hello, tech enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into the realm of optical networking as we embark on a captivating journey through the world of GPON and EPON technologies. In this video, we'll be exploring the differences, similarities, and unique features of these two giants in the optical communication domain. So, let's get ready to compare and contrast GPON and EPON in this informative showdown. Our contenders for today's face-off are GPON Asterisk and EPON. The acronyms stand for Gigabit Passive Optical Network and Ethernet Passive Optical Network, respectively. Both are shining stars in the world of high-speed data transmission, each with its own strengths and characteristics. Let's start with GPON Asterisk, the pioneer in passive optical networks. GPON uses a single optical fiber to provide multiple services, such as high-speed internet, voice calls, and video streaming, simultaneously. This is made possible through a mix of time division multiplexing and wavelength division multiplexing, allowing users to enjoy a range of services without compromising speed or quality. On the other side of the ring, we have EPON Asterisk, or Ethernet Passive Optical Network. EPON's foundation lies in Ethernet technology, a widely used protocol for local area networks. EPON adopts Ethernet frames for data transmission, which simplifies integration with existing Ethernet-based systems and equipment. Let's talk about Asterisk Bandwidth Allocation. In the GPON corner, bandwidth is shared among multiple users, allowing for a higher overall capacity. However, during peak usage times, this shared bandwidth might lead to congestion. EPON, on the other hand, dedicates a specific amount of bandwidth to each user, ensuring consistent speeds but potentially resulting in underutilization during off-peak hours. Now, let's weigh the pros and cons. GPON excels in providing a wide range of services, making it a preferred choice for service providers offering bundled services. However, the shared bandwidth might lead to variability in user experience. On the flip side, EPON's dedicated bandwidth ensures consistent performance, but its integration with existing Ethernet networks might require additional equipment. When it comes to asterisk distance coverage asterisk, GPON can span longer distances, making it suitable for various deployment scenarios. EPON, with its Ethernet routes, is best suited for shorter distances within a building or campus environment. Security buffs, take note. GPON's time division multiple access, TDMA, nature provides inherent security, as users operate on specific time slots. EPON, with its Ethernet foundation, relies on virtual LANs, VLANs, for segregation and security. The deployment of asterisk triple play services asterisk voice, video, and data, is where GPON shines. Its hybrid approach makes it ideal for offering a diverse range of services, making it a great choice for service providers catering to varied user needs. So, who emerges as the winner in this showdown? Well, it ultimately depends on your specific requirements and deployment scenarios. GPON shines in versatility, making it a favorite for bundled services, while EPON's Ethernet compatibility and dedicated bandwidth ensure consistent performance. And there you have it, a head-to-head -head comparison of GPON and EPON. Whether you're eyeing multifunctionality or steadfast performance, the choice between these two giants is a fascinating one. If this comparison helped shed light on your decision, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more in-depth tech insights.